Hi guys, welcome to my art club. Come on in. Uh, and today I'm going to be doing an art crafty kind of a project that's a little bit different. I always say that. Everything I do is different. <laughs> so today I have these pieces of felt and I got these at our dollar store here in Canada called Dollarama. I don't know, you can probably find this kind of felt anywhere, any kind of craft store or maybe even Walmart would have it. It was like all these different colors in small sheets and I had the idea of cutting out shapes to make a little art piece. And so I'm making like a sort of a scenery. So I started with what would be furthest away in the scenery and that would be the clouds. And I, oh, I also cut a piece of cardboard to fit underneath. And I'm not gluing anything yet at this point. I'm just, I'm just kind of making sure it all fits together properly. So you cut out pieces. I, I didn't like the way the sun was, so I changed the shape. You cut out the shapes. You could draw them first if you think that would be easier. And then you place them and you might want to adjust things. So first would be the clouds and then the sun, because that's what's furthest away. And then the far away hills, I decided to make a light green. And then I wanted to make a road. Oh, I couldn't decide which color to do it. I decided to go with white and it kind of gets smaller as it gets to the top because it gets further away. So there's the road. And then some hills that are closer are gonna be a little bit darker. And so I used the darker green felt. I think this would be fun also to animate with if you ever wanted to do stop motion. Um, I've done stop motion with paper before and that's really cool. But this just has a nice aesthetic to it. And here, this is probably the hardest part. I tried to make a house and I wanted the house to be a little bit 3D so I had to shape the roof to get smaller towards the back. So this could definitely benefit from a little bit of drawing first. If you wanted to plan out your whole scene and then just cut the shapes that you need. So then I wanted to put a little car on the road Oh, this part was kind of hard too because I had to do the wheels and it just kept getting smaller and smaller. That's why I'm using my really sharp hair cutting scissors, my old hair cutting scissors. <laughs> so there's the wheels and the little lights and then the windshield and then the side windows. So now I decided to do Another hill with a tree. An apple tree, I think. So it's looking pretty cute, but nothing is glued yet. And here, these are the apples. <laughs> I was like, there's no way I'm gonna cut circles that tiny. So here I was trying to make it look like a little bit of waterfront. Which was kind of tricky. Put behind the road. And an evergreen tree. There's actually no limit to what you could put. So I used wood glue. I'm sure white glue would also work. Just school glue is fine. Or hot glue if you want instant. So just paint it on the cardboard. 
smooth the felt down. Give it a good press. And then I just tried to remember <laughs> where each thing was. Clouds. And I think you can move things a little bit even after you glue them. That's what's nice about the, the white glue or the wood glue. If you guys have any ideas of art projects that you'd like me to try, I'm totally open to suggestions. This would be a really great idea to do a Christmas card or a birthday card or even just art to put on someone's wall. And it's also just so relaxing to do this kind of thing. It just looks so soft and friendly. And I definitely think you should give it a try. So that's about it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me here on the Art Club Online. And I can't wait to see you guys next time right here on the Art Club. Yes.